This break is brought to you by Netflix. Head on over to Netflix.com slash GameBreakerTV to sign up for a free 30-day trial that lets you stream all of your favorite TV shows and movies straight to your console, computer, and even your mobile device. Now, as we previously reported earlier in the week, it does not look good for 38 Studios right now. Company executives met with the governor of Rhode Island earlier this week, and details of that meeting are just now starting to surface. With some more of these details, we have Game Breaker writer Jason Winner on the line. Jason, what's going on over in Rhode Island? Well, as most people know, the company received a $75 million loan from the state to relocate, uh, which they received about $50 million so far. Apparently, they did not make a scheduled payment of just over $1 million on May 1st, uh, repayment for that part of that loan, which prompted the personal visit from the governor. And really, the timing on it is kind of odd. You think that if they ever had money, it would be now, a few months after Reckoning launched and after they would have brought in whatever they got from that. It, it makes you wonder maybe how deep they might have been before that launch if they maybe had to use that money to pay off whatever else they had and they couldn't afford to do this one. And it, I mean, it seems just that that from the visit from the governor in, in the conference that he had with press, I mean, he seemed pretty despondent. They asked about, you know, what was going on with, with the, the payment and his response was, well, they didn't make their May 1st payment. So that about wraps that it up. It and all, and yeah. that's that obviously means they're they're in sort of a bad situation here. But what is that, you know, Reckoning, as you said, sold fairly well. It was well received with critics. Um, I, I believe it sold over a million copies. So what does that mean for, for how deep they really were? Yeah, if you figure just doing basic math, I mean, one million copies, you know, about $60 million or so. Obviously, they don't get all of that. They get some portion of it. But when you figure that they had... 50 million in the loan, plus whatever you know, personal money Kurt Schilling had, plus some revenue from this. Yeah, you know, it makes me wonder. Like you said, how 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 deep were they? They couldn't make a one million dollar repayment on what is probably one of their most important expenses. You don't just say, "Well, state, we're not going to pay you." You know, <laughs> I, mean, I realize you can't just not pay the electricity or whatever, but this is a pretty important one. That you you have to hit right. Yeah. Um, now, we're also hearing that if 38 Studios does in fact go under, the state is going to assume owner of it, its intellectual properties. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what a, a fellow on Joystick, their legal analyst, uh, came to by looking over the documentation. He said that apparently they put up their IPs as collateral for the loan. So if that does happen, if it does come to that, what probably happen to the state would assume ownership of that and then try to sell those to another developer who would hopefully uh, you know, go on and make the games, which which sounds kind of okay if, if you're a fan, if you really want to see Copernicus come out. Uh, the problems are, of course, for the state of Rhode Island, they probably wouldn't get what they need to repay the loan. It, wouldn't be the 75 million or the 100 something million that is what it would be with interest. Um, if it did come back, if it was sold to another company, would they keep a lot of the same talent? The big names like like uh, Seth, uh, not Seth McFarlane, Todd McFarlane, uh, Ari Salvatore, Ken Rolston, guys like that. And then thirdly, how long would it take to, to reorganize everything to get that taken care of and so on? It's it, it, there still so there still is a little bit. There still could be a Copernicus. But it's it's a questionable as to how, what kind of a form that would take. Sure. Any 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 you said any you know maybe it's in, around the same time frame as the Family Guy MMO. I mean Seth MacFarlane is making <laughs> that go. one, so there is that <laughs> MMO. Um, what about the taxpayers' money? It, it, this is this is obviously they got a loan from the government. Is this something that the taxpayers are going to have to recoup if if there is no sort of leeway on on selling the intellectual properties? That's basically how it looks like it'll be, and it, it's really interesting considering too, uh, you know, Kurt Schilling's stance on on government and and their interference with business. He's generally come off as against that sort of thing, and now he's getting a lot of uh, a lot, lot of lot of criticism from various people in in the gaming industry and in, in legal industry and in sports. I read on websites and so on, seeing that sort of thing. He's getting uh, not he's not coming out looking real well on all this. Is there any sort of silver lining to this at all? You know, do you, do you think that 38 Studios is going to come back uh, from the dead on this one, or is it is it going to have to take a, a secondary company? Uh, it's tough to tell without knowing specific financial info. Uh, Governor of Rhode Island, he, he originally said he was against the loan, and so he's not the biggest fan. He says he doesn't want to help. He says he wants to help the company rather, but he doesn't want to send uh, good money after bad, as he put it. So. Really, 38 is going to be pretty much on its own to deal with this. And maybe they can find more investors. Uh, as mentioned, you know, Kurt Schilling is a former MLB pitcher. Maybe he knows other players, current and former, and a lot of them have money. Maybe he can get some investment from that that avenue. But it's going to be tough no matter where he goes or where they go to 
to find someone willing to put up money considering the current state of the company. Well, it's always a sad news, but hopefully they can dig themselves out of this one. We will keep you updated on this story as it develops right here on Game Breaker TV. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.